Okay, hello, hello. All right. Back, sort of. Um, I know I say this every time, but uh, today's going to have to be a specially short um, stream of this game because uh, I need to get working on my own game. And so, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be doing maybe an hour and a half, two hours of this game. Um, shorter than the three plus that I usually do. <laughs> but hopefully I can make a little bit of progress. I unfortunately have not had a chance to, um, you know, go back to this game off stream to really do anything. So I'm going to be kind of winging it. And if I can't figure out what to do, uh, today, um, then whatever point I hit, which I just not sure what to do, then I'm going to go ahead and swatch, switch over to working on my game uh, until I get a chance to uh, go back to this. Um, because I think in the next few weeks, uh, I'm probably going to be taking some more time toward working on the game. I might stream some of that. I might not. It just depends. Um, the main thing is I don't know how comfortable I feel uh, programming on stream because I'm bad at it and I I don't know what I'm doing most of the time and most of the time I'm looking at tutorials or looking up like, you know, what is the thing that I need to do to make this thing do? <laughs> um, and I don't think that's particularly exciting, but I might do some 3D modeling on stream. I don't know. So anyway, um, let's see, what uh, what loop do we want to do? I wanted, I think, loop, uh, loop 12, maybe loop 13, where's loop, loop 13, okay, here we go, all right, so one of the things was, I'm trying to remember exactly all that happened last week, so, um, we, we figured out what happened with Kite, and we spent all that time in the dungeon <laughs> and our reward was that the two birds went off and i guess are delivering letters to characters called beak and uh, beak and claw a uh, beak and fang um which i decided to name birdie one and birdie two or just birdie and birdie two because i thought we were naming the birds and not people um of course, I guess I don't know if they're people or not, uh, but I think the assumption is that, like, the birds are going to fly off and they're going to go invite new people to come to the island or something like that. I think that's what's going on. Um, but anyway, the, the start of the next loop did not begin with any of them there, so um, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with that. I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to get anything started with them or figure out where they are or what um so yeah maybe i just have to wait till later on in the game or something or find a particular location where they might have washed up uh i can try that um and then there's the bandits uh so i'm gonna try to figure out what was going on with the bandits i think the thing is we've got to try to convince gallant uh to to fight against uh, Zulferbalus when the bandits sack the, uh, the the royal procession thing that happens. The reveal of the wedding dress. And uh, I'm not quite sure how to do that. Because I think there, there was the event that we triggered on day uh, three, I want to say. Um, where we have the, uh, the confession to... Um, to Gallant about uh, what's going to happen to him, and he says, "Haha, I, I can't do anything about it. I already know about it." Um, so there must be something between then and the time that uh, he gets stabbed that we can do something. I don't know what. Uh, let me just make sure everything is in order here. I have the party with me. I don't know if I have. Um, money. I, I mean, I have all the money with me. I don't know what items I have. Oh! Actually, there was one thing that I wanted to do. And that has to do with the flowers. Uh, so I I figured out what happened. I feel really dumb because I watched the, uh, the VOD on the episodes where I go into the coal mine for the first time. And I realized that the shop there 
sells a flower called the Flame Crest, and that was the one I was missing out of the 12. So I was right, we need to save the Laurel flower, and we need to just have the other ones, and I need to get the, uh, the Flame Crest. So I don't have that in the list here. So I went ahead and um, before the last loop, I sold off the the ones that we could get for cheap or free. I'm I'm just gonna go buy them. I think uh, the the not the Reflesia. What is it called? Uh, the one that's up up north. So I'm gonna go get that one first, and then I think the other one is purchased at uh, the. I want to say it's at the. Uh, the uh, at the at the Celestial Village, uh, that's the, well, that's the other one I have to purchase. So we're gonna we're gonna hop around, get those, and then head over to the Bandit Camp. I think. Just gonna go get this one for free, even though it's really not that expensive. So we can finally do that flower quest. <laughs> I really thought I had it last time, and I, I feel bad that I didn't check, and that, that somehow I missed the, the flame crest. Um, well, and it, okay, it's uh, this one over here. This is where we get it, right? There's a Rapendia. Not Rafflesia, but a Rapendia. And the other one was, I want to say, the Cosmo Color. So I'm going to go hop over to up here go get the Cosmo Color. Uh, I don't know why I have Claire in the group. I forgot. I think I just like having Claire in the group. She's a free healer. Okay, so we have this bird thing. Um, I guess we figured that out. <laughs> that wasn't a problem. Okay, is it you who sells the Cosmo Color, or is it the guy in the house? Oh. Well, I could have bought a Rapendia here. Okay. Um, yeah, so it, so it must be the one down here somewhere. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Yeah. Cosmo Color. There we go. A little bit of money, but we'll buy it. And now let's hop over to Belmont Lake. There we go. And then in this shop, I think they'll sell me the Flame Crest. It was this guy. There we go. That should be all the flowers. <laughs> okay. Now let's hop on over to... The swamp. Is it this part of the swamp? I think it is. Oh, well, this is the location that uh, the guy is supposed to be, but he's not here right now. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. So, he's only there in the morning, right? I think that's what we learned last time. Uh, so I might as well just hop over to the forest <laughs> and take care of this real quick. Yeah, so we do this battle real quick. Should be nice and easy. Yeah, let's get rid of them. Why not? Let's do a heal circle. I've been trying to use Claire because I want to get her uh, up to up to the level of bag off. We've done it. It really is surprising that they didn't give them, like, little wind quotes. Just little, you know, a little voice clip or something. 
I was reading that this is one of the first fully 3D RPGs, I guess, on the PS2. So, I guess in that respect, uh, I have to give it a little bit of credit. Um, they hadn't... I, I have to do some more research into it and see, like, what exactly that means. <laughs> like, were there a bunch of other ones that I'm not thinking of? Like, I know Grandia was on the Dreamcast, right? Dr Grandia 2 was on the Dreamcast, and that was sort of fully... Of course, there was Skies of Arcadia, um, which does have a very similar graphical style to this, but Skies of Arcadia deals with its camera system much better. Okay. And it's, and it's funny that you know, this game and Skies of Arcadia both have the issue of, like, tons and tons of random battles. Uh, so I wonder if that was just a thing that they hadn't really figured out for, for lack of a, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. Because Skies of Arcadia's re-release fixed that problem, exactly. They, uh, they cut down the random battles to about half. I suppose I could go uh, warp back to Nomon Lake and go grab um, a couple of fog spheres. I think that'd be a good idea once uh, once I'm done with this, of course. Is the Bestial Priest the thing just immune to fire damage? I gotta look at those damage numbers. Okay, maybe not. I was wondering why I had a uh, rummy attack at the whole time and it wasn't getting defeated. Okay, here we are. As long as we don't get in the way. Yeah, I feel like we have to do something. Maybe talk to Zene. Hmm. Well, we know about that. So what exactly are we meant to do here? Maybe I should stick around and find out. I figure, because it's so far out here, maybe I don't have to do it on the first day. They can't assume that I have leap potions already, right? It, it's kind of feeling like maybe you are meant to get a whole lot of these uh, party members really early on. I was just thinking about how if I were to, um, you know, try to restart my file so that I could uh, get to get Rina in the party, uh, that it actually wouldn't be too hard to get everybody really quickly. Get uh, like I, like like I did in the, the in the episode where I got Rina, um, you know, it took like an hour to get uh, Claire, Kite, and Rummy pretty much on the team already, and then just do a quick another loop to get Bagoth and Plosi and Anno and all that. It could be sped through pretty quickly. The thing that would be a, a pain would be getting all these rings. Going through the the uh, island dungeon, going to get all of the the flowers, the um, the eggs, <laughs> the the uh, like seventy eggs that I already have. So I'm gonna consider it, and it might be something that after I'm done with this uh, demo for my game, then I'll I'll set up a file that has that. But we'll see. I I just don't know yet. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make a save here. Now that we've got all of this started, and we'll do it, uh, yeah, why not? We'll do it here on uh, the save file that we're already on. 
and um i think i'm i'm gonna go jumping around so let's move on to somewhere else okay so we have the swamp that we need to get through i want to try checking out the inn because i think if these other people are supposed to come to the island then maybe one of them might be at the inn that's a possibility Yeah, the fact that they had you name the first party member and the suggested name was Beak, and I was like, are we talking about the birds here? <laughs> uh, that's how I got confused about that. Weather looks great today, okay. What about you? Hmm. Like, I'd think it'd be someone staying in one of those rooms, but there's no one there, so... Mm. What do you have to say? Oh, yeah, okay. Nothing, nothing of in, uh, import. Yeah, I've been I've been trying to think of which other characters could be important to the story, and I am not really sure. There's there's the, the three characters that we sort of saw in that one cutscene that are the three advisors to Zelperpolis. They seem like they'll be the boss characters going forward. Um, I don't know, I'm still trying to decide on, on Jailson, if Jailson is supposed to be like a party member or not. Um, because I haven't had like cutscenes with Jailson. Um, that's the big thing. It's like Anno, there were lots of cutscenes. With Bagoth, there were lots of cutscenes. But it, I guess he could. I don't know. It's just we've done a lot of interaction with him, and those interactions have not been cutscenes. So I'm not really sure what to make of that. Um, okay, I'm just wandering around here now. What am I doing? There was really nothing over here in the Forest of Hope, which I was kind of surprised about. There's just this hunter's village, and I guess I could go over there and look at it again. There's this house, which is yet another one of the witches' houses that, that are sort of the healing witches. There's another one... where is it? Up here? There's one... There's another one uh, over here, and then... I want to say here, right? Yeah. So there's four of them, and then there's the one at the top. Um, that's the four sisters that they talk about. Uh, and then the ugly hag. I couldn't, I, I couldn't tell if there was like something more that was supposed to be done with them because they, they mention like uh, that there's like a hierarchy of them or something like that. I wrote down in my notes. Let me let me open my, up my notes here. Like they they tell you specifically their names and like what their trait is no, they're known for. Like lilac has the most beautiful eyes or something like that. Um, and it feels like you're supposed to know that for a puzzle or something like that, but I haven't, I haven't found anything to do with that yet. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go rest at the inn until morning, and then hop over to the, the location where I can give the flowers to that guy and see what happens with that. See how this game's big side quest pans out. That's actually kind of something interesting. I, I've been... So I'm thinking about, like, older RPGs, and there's not, like, a whole lot of side quests in in pre-PS2 uh, RPGs that I can think of, anyway. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just, you know, completely misremembering, but, like, I don't know. I don't think, uh... Xenogears, for instance, had a whole lot of that kind of stuff, or the old Final Fantasies. They had side quests in the, in the, like, sort of, sort of like this one was, where it was like, it was a thing that had purpose to it. Like, I don't know, like the Chocobos in Final Fantasy, you know, they're like, they're like never really required for anything, but 
but they're there as something else to do. Like, the side quests tended to just be, like, extra things to do rather than obligations or, you know, go grind out ten monsters. Locally. Okay, hopefully I didn't skip the... There we go. Cool. Perfect timing, I think. Maybe I'm totally wrong on that, on the uh, side quest thing, but I just don't remember it being that big of a deal uh, back then. Okay, so we're going to here. Hopefully we'll get lucky and jump to the right spot. No luck. Um, okay. Well, we're not that far away. You know what? Actually, I want to power jump over to the lake and grab myself a fog sphere and just immediately turn it on. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to start doing that from now on. Because it doesn't completely eliminate the battles, but uh, it should reduce the encounter rate. I'll bet there's a house where I could find one for free. I just need to remember where it is. I just need to look at the map I made and, uh, and use it. Because this thing lasts pretty long. Okay, let's hop to the swamp. Maybe we'll get a luckier position. Yes, exactly. There we go. Hello, we've, bar we've brought you all the flowers. Twelve flowers. Offer an amazing reward. What's the amazing reward? We gathered them all! Thank you so much. Uh, I know I shouldn't ask this of you, but could you go give the flowers to my girlfriend for me? Okay, great. It's so embarrassing. If you give the flowers to her, I'll give you a reward. She lives by the quarry. She's the Widow Ravister. Okay. Oh, I know who that is. Okay. We can do that. Um, that should be here. I've seen that character here. Um, I want to say it's one of these houses here. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> uh, what? Okay. Um, is it one of the people hanging outside? Hmm. It said lives by the quarry, so this must be it. One of these houses down here. Let me just check the... Yeah, the, that's the quarry. Um, okay. Brandy. I feel like it was one of those people that, uh, was just hanging outside, like, here. There we go! Ravister, what? Key Hitch left this for me. He he he. So he is serious. Thanks. Okay. I wish you would hurry up and come home. Want to go to the festival. Okay. Cool. So that was actually way easier than I thought. So let's hop up here. I was worried that I was never... Oh, no. Oh, okay, I thought I had landed in the same spot, but I didn't. Okay, so we go up here. Hopefully he's still in the same spot. <laughs> Good. He went and gave them to her for me. So what'd she do? She pleased. Yeah, really. Okay, here's the reward. A mage's crest. Was that all? <laughs> I don't know that I would call that an amazing reward. That was just a ring, isn't it? Uh, defenses will increase 10. But, okay, both defenses or just... Let's see. A regular defense as well. Okay. Alright, well that's... Um, Okay, Claire doesn't have anything equipped, so we might as well put it on her. Um, I don't know if that physical defense is all that important right now. 
I guess. It's starting to become the magic defense, right? Hurry back and make it back to town. Well, you don't seem to be in that much of a hurry. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that was a lot of money to get a ring that, by all accounts, doesn't seem to do a whole lot. Ten is not that much when, uh, some of those things were going up by 50. But, um, that's cool, I guess. We got it, finally. We got that, that cleared off the table. So... I guess we have the, uh, the forest now. I guess I never explored this quiet cove. Um, I don't know. There's some, gotta be something to do there. Okay, we're not far. Just want to check uh, the bandits again. Now that it's day two. Even with the fog sphere, we still got encounters pretty quickly. Oh, really? Okay, there we go. That's the one we want. And let's do... Okay, she's just gonna use a spell or something. How about we freeze Bestial Priest Soldier? How does that do? 342? That's not great. Okay. Let's try one of her other spill spells here. Uh, frost? Or Ice Fusion? Frost. It could just be that uh, Frost spells don't do very good against these monkeys, which seems to be the case. <laughs> okay. Um, how about we try... What's this one do? Ice at attribute added. Okay, so that's not very good. Okay, is there anything going on with you guys over here? Oh, they're gone. So where are they today? Suki is doing nothing up there. What about this one? Okay, we can't talk to them. What about you guys in here? What's your problem? <laughs> Seems like a few of your people are gone. Really? We can't talk to them at all? Hmm. Nothing was found. Well, I'm stumped. Um, we're gonna wait here. Why don't I just, uh, you know, we'll just speed it up. Because I want to stay here and just see what happens. There's no one over there. It's got to be something to do with Zen uh, Zene, I think. I don't know what, though. Other than that, we can try to figure out uh, maybe what some other possibilities are for this, this whole beacon fang thing. Um... There wasn't anything else on Ghoul Island. I feel like I thoroughly explored that. I didn't go back in there, but I probably should have. Yeah, there's a little part there, sort of near the center of the map there, that I don't... I don't know. I haven't really explored that too well. Or the, the coastline there, to be honest. Um, okay, so those places, I don't know. <laughs> but I think I'm going to wait here and see if I can figure out anything to do with these bandits. Uh, because that's got to be the next thing to do, right? I'm a little surprised I haven't, like, seen advancement in the story. And I think that the, um, 
that that battle on day three would probably be a good time to do that. Um, or else go to the wedding ceremony and fight against Zelperpolis there. That's an option. Um, I think I was going to try that last loop and I didn't do that. Um, so that's too bad. Because <laughs> that would be an option. I, th I find it a little weird that he um, doesn't seem to notice everything that's going on. Or maybe he does and he's just not saying anything. Um, it is a little strange that uh, the plot has not advanced at all, just besides our activities so far. Um, but the lift has been fixed in, in the Woodcutter's Village, so I don't know what to do about that. Like, it's... Um, oh, these guys are just back to their normal thing, so there's nothing going on here. Yeah, okay, so this is all the same as it was yesterday. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want to save. Maybe I do. Let me save to a different slot. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to save here. Yeah, because I think at this point I'm not really worried about screwing up one of my old save files. Because if I do, I'm probably just going to make it up anyway. I'm just going to redo it. Uh because I'm probably I, I'm really leaning towards the idea of like just restarting the save file to get Rena in the party and just redo all the things that I did because I think I don't know it couldn't take me more than like four or five hours max to do shouldn't be that big a deal I, I'd rather not have to but uh, at this point it feels like she was missable and that's weird <laughs> um, at the, but at the same token like I probably missed other stuff at this point, which scares me a little bit. Um, there's probably cutscenes that I didn't even see with characters I, I may never met to meet, <laughs> which is a little worrisome. Um, it's kind of cool, but it's also kind of weird. So, uh, yeah. Oh, one of the things I wanted to do uh, was check the restaurant. Because day two in the evening, if I'm not mistaken, uh, is when you're supposed to meet Rummy at the restaurant. And it's possible that we, we might have an extra scene if we do that at 7.30 in the restaurant with her. Just a guess. Oh, what's going on now? Okay. Uh, hello, Mr. Music. Oh, let me stop this. What's going on with Rena? There's a visitor down in our lobby. She wants to see you, Poogie. Oh, okay, cool. Incredibly beautiful. Is something funny going on? Is this one of the, the, the two? Oh, no, it's Zene. Okay. Hey, don't stare. It's not like I wanted to come see you, you know. <laughs> oh no, it's one of these characters. It's a son deer. <laughs> I came because I need a favor. This is what uh, Rinna looks up to as, as the most beautiful person in town, huh? Please help Gallant. I don't know why, but I have this feeling that you're the only one who can save him. That's why I tracked down your whereabouts and came here. I think something really horrible might happen to him. It's definitely going to happen. He's suffering through this all alone. The only one who can save him. Because you're just like him. Should be able to know what he's going through. I don't even understand it myself. I just don't know what to do. Can we explain the true state of things? <laughs> I better go. Weird. Just had a memory recoil? It's probably as a result of her having overheard a conversation we had with Gallant during a previous loop. That's... Hmm... That's... I don't know. I don't know if that's a good way of putting that. 
<laughs> that feels like a break in the logic, doesn't it? She's experiencing only a partial awakening. Regardless, why don't we try to convince Gallant once again? Okay. Alright. Well, I thought we were gonna find uh, one of these two one of these two characters uh, that, uh, that they were talking about with Kite, but uh, maybe not. Okay. Uh, I hopped back to town so that I could rest and go to the restaurant, but I guess we're going to the, the forest again. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that. Too bad we can't figure out anything to do with Rinna. That was a little weird that that Rinna was responsible for that. Maybe I should have talked to her. You know what? Let's do that. I don't want to miss this opportunity in case uh, there's some other opportunity to recruit her. 